stretching across an area 112 kilometers long and 48 kilometers wide along the borders of Uganda and the Democratic Republic of Congo are the Ruanzori Mountains. The mountains glaciers and biodiversity are spectacular and a marvel to behold. Rivers emerging from the glaciers provide life-sustaining fresh water to wildlife, livestock and communities over an even larger area. The community have a strong cultural belief that the mountains belong to them and they belong to the mountains. The Bakonja derive their identity and existence from the Ruanzori Mountains. In fact, Ruanzori was coined from Ruanzururu, which means people belonging to snow. Since time immemorial, agriculture has formed the principal livelihood of these hardy and friendly people of the mountains. Constantine, from the Bakonja tribe, is a farmer in the Kasese area of the foothills of the Ruanzori Mountains in western Uganda. Constantine has for the past 50 years or so noticed gradual changes in the area's climate patterns. Being an agro-based community, the changes have been evident in their farming practices. Farmers have been forced to adapt to cope with their changing environs. Tulikuwa tunalima mwezi ya tatu tunaanza kupanda chakula. Uh, alafu na mwezi ya tunakoma kwa mwezi ya 4. Alafu mwezi ya saba tulikuwa tunapanda chakula. Tunamaliza kwa mwezi ya, ya nani. Lakini siku hizi hizo uh, kupanda na namna hiyo ilgeuka. Sasa tunapandanga mwezi ya tisa inatokea kwa mvua pali inapatikana na alafu tunaanza kupanda. For the community around here they are noticing physical and evident signs of change in the environment. The once clearly visible snow and glaciers on the peaks of the Ruanzori are slowly but surely receding, quite a distressing phenomenon for Constantine. Their beloved snow may be no more. Tulikuwa na vitu nye upe kwa milima juu huko, lakini banavita nzururu kwa luga yetu. Hii vitu vilikuwa vina 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 biko kwa mlima hii yote kutoka pale upande hii kufika huko juu ndio sisi tulikuwa tunafikiri mvua inatokea kwa vitu hiyo sasa vitu hiyo elipotea Bob Nakileza is a geographical scientist at the Makerere University He was part of an expedition team to the Ruanzori in 1996 He shares part of their findings now, this research found out that within a period of about um, uh, 100 years from the last expedition of 1906, that there had been a dramatic change in the, the glaciers uh, from about 7.5 uh, square kilometers at that time up to about 1996. The, the, the coverage was something like one uh, point five. One of the effects of increased temperature is the prevalence of disease. Mosquitoes that spread malaria are known to thrive in hot tropical areas. Given that the Renzori Mountains are at a high altitude, one would not expect mosquitoes to thrive here. But this is not the case. Things have changed in the recent past. So there is a clear correlation of correspondence between what is taking place up there in the mountains and that the glaciers are reducing but we also observe that the temperatures are increasing but also the rainfall patterns have, have gone down. Miaka ya nyuma hii, tulikuwa tunapata baridi lakini siku hizi 
joto ena, enazidi. Tulikuwa watu ya hapa walikuwa hapa na gonjwa hii malaria. Lakini sasa kutoka miaka ile ya nyuma hii kutoka sabaini hapo hapa hii malaria ni sapanda imesafika nafasi hii. Like many areas globally, the glaciers on the Ruwenzori mountains are at great risk. If we do not act now to drastically reduce climate change, the life-sustaining waters, people's livelihoods and whole cultures may be lost forever. <laughs>